Wept coming at you guys live here with a rainbow boa that has just given birth to what looks like eight young, eight newborn rainbow boas. And we're about to show you guys each baby individually. So we're about to see about these babies. Let me remove the water bowl. And as you can see there are one, these two are out, one, two, three, that are still somewhat in their x axis And you know, these babies tend to be a little bitey, but um, I'll take a chance. Take out this first one. Look at that. There's still a lot of embryotic fluid and whatnot on them. Look how beautiful. Right. And that's um, where the umbilical cord was connected. This uh, this heals up in about in about two to three weeks usually. Alright so I'm gonna transfer him over here. Thank you. Just about maybe nine, nine to ten inches long. So this little guy here, a little slimy. Just I'm being very gentle. Just came out of it the exit. Eh? So it's a little longer than the other one. Another beautiful specimen. Okay. Some of the eggs are still falling off. What's that? Some of the eggs are still falling off just now. Yeah, this is very yucky. Hey, okay, sorry. How long does the pregnancy last? The pregnancy in rainbow boys can last on average about 120 days. Really? That's from um, fertilization till boot. Right, and transfer. Your mother, does she experience any kind of difference in her behavior? Does she continues to eat and stuff? They typically would stop eating and also they would usually shed once before uh, right after they get pregnant actually. Oh. That's known as the post ovulatory shed. Take out one of these. Oh. Okay, so this has a lot of fluid. The this is the X sac actually. It's gonna help them out of it. Does this really snake moving out like that? No, no. He would naturally do this on his own. Yeah, they would naturally poke their way out of this. Just helping him, helping him along. And just yeah. for the record, we're just doing this to show you what these snakes normally do. Um, this is the fluid in the sack still. I think what's obvious by now is that uh, rainbow boas don't have eggs, they don't lay eggs, they have live birth. So do they depend on their parents after they're born like this? Actually, well it's only one parent, as in the mother that has them, because the males tend to not stick around, it's not really slippery, and they would stay with the mother for like a period like this, like right after they're born, mm -hmm. but as soon as they come out of their x axis they start moving around and hunting on their own. Like this guy here has already started moving. Okay. You mean they start hunting right after they come out, not after they shed? They can, their instinct is to hunt and shed as soon as they want. Okay, some would shed before, some would shed after. Hey, hey. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay.
Okay, so we're down to three more. These babies are surprisingly not feisty. This one here. He isn't, a, he isn't in his sack, but he's just balled up here. Like what baby rainbow goers typically do. Just transfer him here. And they're all active, except these two. So in the wild, again, these usually are able to do this on their own. We're just doing this to show our viewers what actually happens, right? Yep. But in the wild, how long do you think it could take before they actually get out of the sack? Um, anywhere from as soon as they're born to maybe 10, 20 minutes. You know, it, it depends on the snake itself, the condition of the baby. Sometimes they are still born, so what they call slugs. And those are babies that weren't as developed as the rest. But we have had we've had a healthy clutch here. All the babies are healthy so far. Mm -hmm. And this goes to show folks that right now, this time of the year that these snakes are having live young so shouldn't be a surprise because rainbow boa is a snake that you could find close to your residence and now would be a time where the possibility of finding a baby one or even a, a female that just gave birth is really high and we encourage you all not to kill these snakes as yeah, they are because it's a good thing to actually find them right yeah yeah it is because they will keep the rat population down in the area and also, they are protected species, so killing them is against the law. Look at this. It's like a bubble. So, prior to this, Turk did evaluate all of the snakes and made sure that they were ready to be handled and ready to be moved like this, and that they were ready to be taken out of the sack. Yes, I did, and also made sure that the mother was okay after. A lot of this sack is still stuck on this one. And that's it. I don't think that this is an opportunity that most uh, Trinidadians or Tobagonians have been able to have. And to be able to actually see something like this, I don't, I'm not even sure how to describe it. But this is an amazing experience for us. Hey, hey. Hey, they still learning to climb, so his balance is a little off. But these guys are going to be fed soon. And we'll update you guys more from then. So these are the newborns, about an hour old. So this little girl here... Is not as little as the rest, but she's about three weeks old. Yeah, this is. She was born three weeks ago. Uh, this is Felicity. He is one of our other residents, and he is about a year old. This is Jonesy. He is one of our residents, and he is about four years old, right? Yeah, four years. It was hygienic. This huge guy is about seven years. So you're getting to see the differences in their life. Hey Dave, can you come put your thumb next to his body? Thumb. Yeah. Yeah. That's our average size there. And Dave has manly man hands, so those are not, that's not a small thumb. And I would suggest you guys stay tuned because we do have another surprise coming up.